Now, before we start in a video, I want to say, take everything with a grain of salt I, I say in this video. Do not drink at a young age. It's a bad idea. Now, I'm saying that because I don't be blamed for none of this stuff. This is a warning. Don't take me seriously in it. I'm just kind of messing around with it. Okay, so get to the video so you can watch it, guys. Okay. Now, today I want to talk about how do we get from same sort of one to the same reboot. Let's talk about it. And I'm gonna do some weird, some weird stuff when it comes to it. So, as you all know, Saint Row One was a GTA clone at first, kind of ish. I don't have any gameplay of it. I don't own the game. I don't even own the second or fourth. Or get out hell. I don't own most of the games. I don't own one, the third one, and I don't have footage of that game either. So, if you want to see any footage? I'm sorry, I don't have any. It's like the first, the first game. It's very good. It's very derivative. Um, so I, so use that word, I, I don't know if I used the word correctly. I don't think I did. Let's start at the home beginnings. At first, when it started in two thousand six, it was the GTA. It was the GTA clone. Yes, it sounds very bizarre coming from someone, but it was when you all know what it was. Two thousand eight came up. We had Saint Row Two. It had more humor. It was a yes, it was a clone of GTA Four. Of course, it was, and that's how it would be if you think about it. But it's like this: if you are a heavy drinker, like I don't know, like critics or whatever, Saint Row One is like the fine wine. I don't know, like any fine wine, that's pretty good. Saints Road 2. The purest drink possible. That's the sweetest hit. Has a hint of darkness to it. As you all know, Saints Row 2 is a good story. You could do any way you want. You could start with uh, the Yakuza. Or any or any way you want to start it as. I, I would get the game now at that point. <laughs> because I watched someone play the game and they say that it is really impressive. And Saints Row 1 and 2 actually do follow each other. I had the first game, so what was the ending of the first game? <clears throat> towards, the ending, towards the ending, the boss got blown up, of course. And the Saints Row 2, you wake up. And you can make your character, and it's it's really, really good. It follows some dark themes at times, and I think that's a good game at times. Saints Row 3. As you all know, the... Awkward Middle Child as a franchise. Where do you put that one? See, the game allows you to do whatever you want. It is chaotic fun. I haven't played through it all, all, all fully, so I, I don't know the whole story or progress of it, so if I don't know, I am sorry about that, y'all. But it's, it's, it's a good story when it comes to, uh, but when, but gameplay-wise, it is fun as hell. Just going around, blasting, and Doing whatever, man. And that what people seem to misunderstand. That Saint Row 3 actually diverged from the GTA clone. It actually allowed you to do whatever you want. For the most part. I mean, you still gotta follow the story. With a lot of side missions in particular. I hate the side missions. I'm not even like a third of the game. And yet again. I hate, and like, it gives you like a good story. Side mission, side mission. Story. And like five to six seven side missions. Like what the fuck? I, I don't get that one. I'm be honest with you. Even for me. Uh, if I were to rate it, because I'm from the game, I'm probably gonna probably do that one one day or while. I don't know. Is me. I would say if it's a drinker's for a drink, I think it would be kind of like a whiskey that tastes a little funny. Central Four. Where you can go with that one? I I don't know. I, just like aliens and uh nineteen forties walk matrix stuff. Yeah, that's what I mean. I don't know where to put this one. <laughs> it's it's weird. Yeah, I swear to you, I don't know where you can put on this on this on the scale. Let's <laughs> just like. 
it's not good, it's not bad, it's just mediocre. The story's bland, it's taking more derivatives and taking more BS things from other games, other movies, and stuff like that. But it does give one thing that is really good. Superpowers. And the Force. I, 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 I don't know. Where it just throws you a Hail Mary and just, just gives you, ex like, the Force powers, you left the tanks, cars, and whatever, the chuck. At that point, weapons are basically useless to the game at that point. Like, I was the one reviewed the game, and they say the powers are the fun part. But the guns, the cars are useless at that point. You get to super run, you get basically super jump. It's no, it's not even needed anymore for guns anymore in the game. I don't know where that puts them on the scale of, I don't know, alcohol flavors. I guess I guess it would be like the like the sweet drink. You don't know what to do with it. It's just, it's just sweet enough that it's strong. And get out of hell. It's nothing bad to look at. I will say that so from seeing some gameplay footage of it, ain't and it's not that bad. But it's bizarre of how you're Johnny going to hell, and it's a weird, it's a weird. It's, <laughs> this is what I mean. These games is like lots of momentum. I mean, they brought back um, not much. I mean, we're playing a character that we actually never got to play. So I think that's a cool bar about at least. Um, in my neckers right now. Uh, the story is somewhere. I mean, it does follow after Central 4 at least. Um, so there's a little good sense to it. Where pretty much you... Where the boss gets stolen from uh, a, a Ouija board. And, and the boss got to get married to... Uh, to Saiyan's daughter. That's what I mean. It's really, it's really fucking weird. <laughs> I don't know what the, I don't know what to put on a spectrum. I do. It's, it's like a lemon shot. If you don't know what that is, <laughs> I don't blame you. It is too sour. It hits too strong. Trust me. And now we get to the reboot. <sighs> I told you about it before in the past. The reboot just barely re reset the entire franchise. Where you're millennials, I guess, or Gen Zers, I guess, where you're fighting capitalism, I think. Yeah, that's what I mean. The reboot doesn't do anything special. The art style is okay. Graphics wise, it looks meh. It's not really there. If I would have to give it like a critic's alcohol review, it's like a cheap beer that tastes watery. So if you don't know what that is, here. That's what it is. It's like it's like the cheap. It's kind of the cheap shit you could pick up like at a fucking um, supermarket. You could buy like ten cans of it for like I don't know two thirty dollars. You could just chuck it out. Be it tastes like water shit. That's what I mean. It ain't good. It just, it's not good. It's not bad. It's just mediocre. Everything but it's bland. It uses some things from Saints Row 3 and 4. What I mean is it uses the same animations. For the most part. For the shotgun apparently. That's the same shotgun that we had for like the last two games. Or three games. That's the same shotgun. Same pistols. Same SMGs. It's the same weapons. That we've been having. And they do you they do you the same reload animations, they use the same animation for most of the things. That's what I mean. It's not good. So like I said, it's a cheap it's a cheap beer you could just chuck out. It's not useful, it tastes disgusting, it's watery shit. So yeah. If you kinda like I don't know, kinda of doesn't mean just like saying of how the franchise went from a GTA clone to a shit show. Yeah, you kind of got what you wanted. Now I say to y'all. 
if you kind of enjoyed this, you would need to like and subscribe. You don't have to, you need to. I'm just kind of here talking. So yeah. And also, I got another video on a plane out for you, actually. I just gotta start working on it. I'll probably get it done by uh, by the next few days, I think. I don't know, because it's me, apparently. Uh, I don't know what I say, y'all. I don't know. Better, I guess? Well. Oh.